What's up YouTube, my name is Calvin, I go by Calsoscope, and today in Photoshop, I'm going to be showing you guys the power of the liquify tool. Today, in this sports design tutorial we're going to be focusing on the liquify tool so i already have my shorts and my jersey masked out and then i have the numbers that i'm going to need to put on the jersey once it's all said and done also there but the first thing that i'm going to do is take this jersey right here and i'm going to just first off not go into liquify i'm going to just make sure this all fits together like just the size wise before i go into liquify so i'm just using my Control T to go into my transforming tool and then I start by doing this slight warps and to use the warp tool you right click on your control T transform and you right click and you get a warp now to set your actual points that you want to just set like separate points in the warp tool you can press alt if you're on a window and it'll be command on the Mac and you drag while you're holding down alt or command and you can actually pick points so the jersey gets moved to the anchor of that point so you're kind of just creating anchor points and this is a great way to start off your jersey swaps but you'll see why I use the liquify tool more than than this because you can set unlimited points but it starts getting a little bit kind of chaotic uh, at some points in the jersey swap so it's always great to go into liquify and so once I have like a good basis of what I'm doing for the jersey swap that's when I'll go over into the liquify section Okay, so I, I'll set that as all right for just right now. And I'm gonna turn my black background layer on also so I can just see this underneath. So once I have my, my jersey in there, I usually apply my layer mask and I make it into a smart object just in case I really wanna change stuff after the fact. So make it into a smart object, then we go to filter, liquify, and we're going we're in the liquify tool now this is a very very good and useful thing you're going to want to use so when you get into liquify you're going to want to turn on your show backdrop right because it's going to allow you to see layers that are underneath but a lot of a lot of problem that you guys have is when you move it around you still have like other transparent layers and things like that and the way to combat this is when you put on show backdrop you have to use not all layers you have to only select the layer that you want to see beneath right so i'm gonna select the hero layer because i named it and your mode has to be behind not in front because that's gonna make it blur it out and you're not gonna be able to see it so put it behind so that you'll be able to see what's going on and then the next thing you want to want to do is usually drop your opacity down so you can actually see beneath and see all the details that's going on right so now I go to the top and I go to the forward warp tool. Forward warp is the W key on Photoshop and when you're in liquify, so it's just W. And that's what I start off with. You can change the size of your brush with the brackets, but yeah, just change the size of your brush with your brackets. And then what I really do, and this is literally magic, I swear, <laughs> is I just follow the pattern of this jersey underneath, really, and make it this look very similar to what's going on. So I'm going to start doing a little bit of just what what you guys are gonna have to do as well but then i'll probably speed forward because it does take a little bit of time to get everything just matched up very nice and linear with what's beneath so you're just gonna go around and be careful with this and definitely take your time with this and see if you if you try to make your brush too big and rush you're gonna select whole sections and it's just not gonna come out very really good so I'd say smaller the brush the better um, once you get used to it you can start using bigger brushes and stuff because you know how it's gonna affect different parts of the jersey but small brush first and make sure you just are really keeping track of what's going on with the liquify and just make sure all your details are really just matched up like see even on the side of these wrinkles I can just use my liquify tool and just keep track of what I'm doing I try not to move the the lettering and the, the sponsors too much if you need to go back and just add the lettering and sponsors once again because you moved around a lot of stuff that's fine but I try to not alter that a lot so I don't have to go back and just do that all over again but you see how I'm just really following what's behind on his jersey this is why I say this is literally magic it's just an easy easy way to do jersey swaps 
if you find the right positions on photos. So when you're looking for photographs, you want to make sure that you're finding photographs that have just like kind of the similar composition or just body poses. So it's this can be a lot easier to do. So I'm going to go over all this and I'm going to fast forward through the jersey and then once I get to the shorts I'll probably break it up again and just say what I'm what I'm doing. So let's let's get this done right now. All right, so once you're done, you can just put your opacity up to see what it's going to look like before you get onto your screen once again or you could just you could just guess but i wouldn't do that so you can just go between your opacities and you're really going to be able to see uh what you have done so there's just a couple areas you might want to just fix up a little bit it, this like this part right here you could literally delete it on a layer mask but i'm just going to push it down just because and yeah let's just see what it looks like on 100 opacity it's looking pretty good very nice this part right here I'm seeing can go uh, up a little bit. It's not it's not very symmetrical as I want it. So I'm just gonna alter that just slightly. And you guys see how easily you can do jersey swaps if you use liquify right. So then on the sides. Very cool. And this doesn't only apply for jersey swaps. You can do this with a lot of things in Photoshop. If you want to like move around body parts uh, just a little bit, not go crazy with body parts and stuff like that. You just got to be careful with everything you use in Photoshop. So there goes our jersey right now. So our previews there, and I'm going. This is our before. This is our after. So we definitely fit that on him very well without moving around the uh, text and the ads a lot, right? So let's just go to OK. So we're good with that. So now I'm going to do the shorts. So I'm going to follow the same pattern that I used for the um, for the jersey. The shorts that look like they're going to be a little bit easier to do. They look like they kind of fit very well. So uh, we're going to go to warp again. Control T. Then we right click on our Control T and go to warp. And we pressing Alt or Control Command on the Mac to set some points. Right. So we're just setting these points. These aren't set in stone. But we just want to set these points initially. Just some nice little points to to pick. Okay, and that looks good. Now I'm gonna make it into a smart object. So I right click, convert to smart object, and let's go into liquify once again with the wolf shorts. And we already named our layers, so we're all good. Alright, so now we're on the wolf shorts and let's go back to show backdrop. Make sure that is clicked. Use all layers. No, we're gonna only use the hero layer underneath. And let's drop the opacity down so we can see what's going on beneath that, right? All right, cool. So we're gonna just go in and do the same process we did the last time. So make sure you guys just uh, alter between your brushes and just try to keep everything looking still pretty realistic, but make sure everything's just matching with what's going on on the beneath, on the layer beneath. All right, so I'm gonna fast forward through this and then. I'll be back once I am complete. Okay, it's not looking too bad right now. Let's see. There's just a couple things I want to fix. I want to move this over a little bit. Move this in slightly. That edge right there. Um, put these out a little bit. See, now I'm just going over where it's overlapping. So, almost done here. The Nike sign and the shorts right here, they're kind of weird right now, but I can fix that just with content aware fill after. So, I'm not, don't worry about that. Just, you can use content aware fill on some parts. They need to just fix after the fact. So, do not stress. And there's our shorts. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go back onto the screen and here we go. Now we got our jersey swap nice and neat, but now let's just let's just fix it up. Um, but that's how that's what we're gonna be talking about for the liquify tool. So let's just go back over what we, we did today. So we used our warps, so we control T to control transform, then we went to warps, pick some points holding down alt or commands on the Mac, 
and we pick points point these points are little anchor points that set set standards or just set in stone points that are not going to move for you and we did that with the tool there and then we went into liquify so go to liquify filter liquify and just make sure you show your backdrop show your backdrop but pick the backdrop you want to have drop your opacity down so you can see beneath and use your forward warp tool to just match what's going on in the photo right so uh, I'm gonna speed up the rest of this process, but that's how you're gonna use liquify tool I'm telling you guys if you use this and you get like just pretty proficient with it A lot of things in Photoshop are gonna be a lot easier than they seem you're gonna be able to Warp things that you didn't know you could so if you have any questions about it going on Make sure you guys have watched the whole video because sometimes you guys leave comments and I'm like bro Did you watch the whole video? I talked about this right, but with that being said Thank you guys for tuning into another video. I hope this helped. Make sure if it did, drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Until next time, stay scoped, guys. Peace.